And basically my body is just in starvation mode and we are trying our best to solve that. Thursday morning everyone. It is just past midnight. I made it out of the ER into my hospital room a couple hours ago. I have had an EKG. I've had medicine. I've had more fluids. I've had a breathing treatment and now I'm infusing Gatorade or that's what Judd called it. I said it looked like pee. That is a banana bag named after its color. It has vitamins, nutrients, and sugar in it. The sugar is really important because my blood sugar tanked in the ER yesterday and went down to 59, which is not good. That's due to my metabolic disorder and my body from all the labs and urine they took is in starvation mode from my gastroparesis. So we're doing all we can to help that. I saw the GI doctor two few hours ago. We have a plan in place. Uh, I'll tell you more about that after I get some rest. Right now, my nausea and pain is manageable, thankfully, but when the bout of vomiting comes, it comes hard and it's not fun. But right now, I'm just thankful I'm feeling a little better and I'm gonna get some rest. It's 2 a.m. I haven't slept. I never usually sleep the first night in the hospital anyways, but I thought I would update y'all. The GI team decided to start me on IV erythromycin. It's an antibiotic that has been known to help with speeding up digestion of the stomach, which is good for gastroparesis. So let me show you. We paused my banana bag to run that little bag of the erythromycin with IV saline. And it'll take about an hour for that little bag to go through. I've also had blood work, more meds, they put a telemetry kit on me so the nurses can monitor my heart out the station because erythromycin has the potential to negatively affect heart rhythm and it doesn't interact very well with one of the medications I already take but they decided the potential benefits outweigh the risks because of how severe my gastroparesis has gotten and also that's why I had to do the EKG to make sure I could safely start the erythromycin. Maybe I can actually get some sleep tonight. Good morning, y'all. Again, I managed to sleep about four or five hours sporadically through the night, because, you know, I'm getting woken up for blood work, vitals, blood sugar checks, medication. I was given another dose of IV erythromycin. Um, I haven't been sleeping much at home at all because of my pain and nausea. They're doing a great job of helping me here. I mean, still get spells of severe vomiting that makes my stomach spasm so much I'm on crying from the pain but when those dissipate I get some relief and I'm able to rest like right now so I'm gonna continue resting until Judd gets here for his lunch break. Vlog is uploading super slow because there's not great connection here and Judd's here on lunch break. How do you like the hospital food? Uh, it's always been good. Yeah, we've been here several times and the food is actually really good here. Well, well give you all some positive news here. I am feeling better. My symptom management is so much better here in the hospital than at home, even though we have fluids and IV anti-nausea meds at home. I'm still having spells of vomiting that are super painful and obviously I can't film during those and show you all that. So you'll see the good times, but there's still a lot of issues we're sorting out. Yeah, we're just doing the best to get me eating. I've actually had a few sips of chicken broth, but that's where I was before we came in, a few sips of liquid. So I haven't progressed with my gastroparesis. My gastroparesis is still the same despite the IV erythromycin, but my symptoms are better controlled except for those vomiting spells when they occur. So. But you're already starting to look a lot better. I'm feeling better and more rested. That that's was good. nice too. See, I can still take a few sips. I just gotta progress to where I can finish it. Sustain myself. <laughs> Judd helped me put on daytime PJs pretty much and get ready for the day. Now he's gotta go back to work. Love you, babe. Thank you for visiting me. Hope you have a good day at work. And I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Love you. You're gonna bring Harlow, right? Yep. Yes. I love you. Love you too. 
It was super nice to see Judd. I had a nurse help me into the restroom so I could wash my face, brush my teeth, stuff like that. And I asked them to move me to the last spot in the room so I could be by the windows with the sunshine. There's a big spot for Harlow to lay down. I'm right next to the bathroom. There's a chair for Judd. And we've got my third bag of erythromycin running. I had another one of my severe vomiting spells where I threw up all the clear liquid chicken broth I had today, which is just about a quarter of this tiny little bowl here. Oh, it was painful. Oh my goodness, my stomach is hurting. The way a doctor described my situation is that people can come into the ER and hospital with bullet wounds and they can take away the pain with medicine, but to really fix the problem, they have to take out the bullet. My real problem is delayed digestion. They can help with my nausea and pain with medicine and other symptoms, but they really have to fix the delayed digestion. And we're trying to do that with the IV erythromycin. I'm on my third bag and no help has come from it yet. And that's a little discouraging and worrying. So if we can't fix the delayed digestion, we may need to look into other options. And I'll learn more about that later today when I see a dietitian and the GI team. You here to cheer me up? You have the dog? Thank you for bringing her. Have the dog. Happy Harlow. She got to play at the dog park with another dog, right? Yeah. Usually our neighborhood dog park is always empty, but there was another friendly dog there and Harlow got to play, so she's happy. And you had a good day at work? Mm -hmm. This chair just sunk like five inches when I sat on it. Oh, it happened when I sat on it too. I yeah. thought it was going to fall. <laughs> um, all right, let me update you on today's happenings and then we'll update the people. Yeah. Okay, so an update. When I came into the ER, I was having blood sugar issues. It was too low with 59. They corrected it, then my blood sugar was too high, and now it finally is back where it needs to be. I also had slight acidosis, which is where your blood becomes too acidic for your body. It explains the body pains I was having, and thankfully they were able to fix that quickly. And basically my body is just in starvation mode, and we are trying our best to solve that. They've really been able to help me with my symptoms here, like the nausea, the vomiting, the pain, although I still struggle with that at times, but our main issue is the slow digestion of my stomach, and that's what we're trying to fix. They're giving me continuous fluids and IV erythromycin to try and correct that, but it's a little discouraging. I haven't responded positively to the erythromycin yet, so if it's not going to help, we need to look at maybe other medication options or other options and a dietitian came in and talked to me today about feeding tubes because she said I can only really make it a few more days like this with not having any solid intake and continuously vomiting and we agreed the best tube for me would be an NJ which is nasal jejunum it goes through your nose into your small intestine which is your jejunum so it would bypass my stomach which is the part that's giving us issues and the rest of my intestines work well and so we want to continue to use them and we could do TPN, which is nutrition through my port, but we wouldn't use my intestines anymore and we want to continue using the digestive tract of me that works well. And the NJ is not a surgery to place, they place it while I'm awake. And then if this is just a flare of my GP and it ends, we can take it out easily. If I ended up needing a permanent solution feeding tube because I can't wean off of the NJ, then we would look into other options, but right now, this is what we're doing. We haven't decided I'm getting a feeding tube. The dietitian is glad I'm open to the idea. I'm open to any idea that will help, honestly. I'm what, whatever the doctors want to do. And she's going back to the GI team, and I'm guessing I'll hear from them tomorrow about whether they're going to do more erythromycin, give it more time, maybe another IV medicine, maybe another medicine altogether, or if we're gonna do the feeding tube. So we'll see. I'm just feeling so like weak, and it's getting worse every day, so really hoping for a good solution here. How would you feel about me getting a feeding tube? I would feel great as long as you got healthy. Yeah. Got healthy enough to where you don't have to require constant hospital visits. Yeah, that would be great. Right now, I'm thinking about more important things. Like what? Straight pipes or exhaust. Shut up. <laughs> I would still be able to eat with the feeding tube whenever I'd feel able to but the nice thing about the tube is it would take a lot of pressure off eating i wouldn't have to worry about force feeding myself to get enough calories in the day or weight loss and i would just feel so much better i'd feel like a human again because i'd be getting the nutrition i need but like i said there's other options that may work even better so we're just waiting to see what the gi team decides 
after today's horrible puking spell, I'm gonna brave a few sips of chicken broth again. I find when it's hotter, it's a little easier for me. And Judd got his dinner from the cafeteria downstairs. Judd's food is making me nauseous, so he's being a good sport and eating it in the bathroom. You can eat out there, you weirdo. <laughs> oh, I can see a TV from here. Okay. All right, whatever you want to do. Thank you, babe, for being so understanding. And thank you, Harlow, for being so cute. Harlow's laying there nicely. I've been told we're doing the erythromycin four times a day, by the way. And trouble time, woohoo! Judd and I are tied. I have three in home, he has three in home. Oh my goodness, this is intense. Judd won. That's not even fair, you hate this game. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so some of y'all may be wondering if we are frustrated that I ended up in the hospital after having just gotten out of an admission from last month, but this time, no, not really. I mean, I was doing so poorly with my gastroparesis just no good management at home being admitted they've been able to make me more comfortable here and although my gastroparesis still isn't getting better there's better symptom management and they're gonna do what they need to to help me so we're actually relieved that i was admitted and i'm getting the care i need this time right babe mm -hmm. i actually slept a whole lot better knowing she was here last night yeah. I thought that was so funny when he told me. He was like, I slept really well last night. I'm like, yeah, because you didn't have me in the bed. He was like, no, I was less worried about that too. Yeah, I had the whole bed to myself. It's always a plus. So. Well, except for Carlo. Harlow slept in the bed with she you? She always sleep in the bed when you're oh, there. she makes it so hot. We don't, the three of us don't fit, but I guess Harlow and Judd fit perfectly fine. <laughs> the most difficult part about this is I still can't eat, and I'm still having those spells of really relentless vomiting and every day I'm getting weaker and more lethargic. I can't walk without assistance and I'm just not e eating enough calories for my body to keep up. If I walk too far I black out. I, my body can't keep up with activity without blacking out because I'm, I'm just not getting enough nutrition. So that's why I'm hoping tomorrow after I see the GI team. They took x-rays of my stomach tonight. Maybe it'll give them more info and we'll get a better treatment plan going. Who knows? But hopefully more answers tomorrow. And that's it for our day today. Glad to say symptoms seem to be more under control, but like I said, we really gotta get a handle on the main problem, which is my delayed stomach digestion. But we still have options, and we're just gonna wait to see what the team says tomorrow. Love you, hippo. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you, babe. See you tomorrow. Love you too. Chad helped me take a shower wipe, shower, and get ready for bed. Harlow could legally stay the night with me, but I cannot physically care for her while here in the hospital. I cannot take her out um, on her potty breaks and things like that. And the nurses don't legally have to care for her, but they've offered. However, I just feel more comfortable with Harlow being home and Judd taking care of her. And then he brings her to see me every day. And Judd's going home because he's got to get ready for work and all that early in the morning. And it's just better. This is not a comfortable chair to sleep in. I want Judd to have a good night's sleep, so. It's okay, it all works out. Even though the bathroom is just right there, I cannot get up and use it anymore. I just tried to 30 minutes ago with the help of a nurse and I almost passed out. I almost blacked out from just this lack of nutrition. It took two nurses to get me back to bed, so for now on I'll be using a bedside commode. I'm thankful to be getting care in the hospital, but things are still hard, but not giving up hope, looking forward to hearing about new options tomorrow when the doctors make their rounds. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing my mask for my immunodeficiency, this floor is not um, full of people who are sick and contagious. There's a lot of other immunodeficient people here, so they're following immunodeficient protocols. And even though I'm not in a private room, it's safe enough where I don't have to wear my mask. Plus, I'm so nauseous and puking so much. It's not practical for me to wear my mask because I will like puke in it and that's not okay. I want to thank you all for the support. All of the comments are so encouraging and full of love and prayers. Thank you so much. I am keeping my faith um, in God. I know he has a plan and he'll help me with this. I am really exhausted. Y'all only see like 15 minutes of our day with the vlogs, but all I can do is sleep. I'm sleeping 
immense amounts because that's all my body can handle so I'm sorry I'm too tired to respond to comments and such but I just want y'all to know I do appreciate the support it means a lot to me and Judd and Harlow. Well, I'm feeling rather exhausted do my best to sleep in the hospital despite blood sugar checks because it's going too low again and vitals blood work things like that but do what you gotta do just do the best you can I'm doing the best I can in my circumstances because that's all I can expect of myself doing my best to keep moving forward as always and that's it for this day thank you for joining me on my adventure